Can't believe it's already December, huh? Got our tree up. And uh, today we're gonna unbox a frame that I had bought uh, either last year or the year before, I don't even remember now. And it's a perfect time to open it since it is getting near the holidays, so I think I will uh, probably pour myself a hot chocolate. So we'll make it in the curry here. Using my Dutch Brothers Christmas mug. So before I open that uh, box, just like to say that uh, I'm gonna give an update on everything since my last video, but it's not gonna be in this video, it'll be the next video. So I know I got a lot of comments that I haven't really responded to anything, so, so I was just uh, too tired at the time <laughs> to really go through and respond to everything, so. But uh, yeah, so that'll be tomorrow. And yeah, thanks for everybody who commented. And uh, uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll probably release that, that video about the update from my last video. But for this video, I'm just going to go through the uh, opening of that box. Because I'm working on putting the garage away <clears throat> in the new place here, so. Been starting to get back into putting everything back to putting everything away, so. And to uh, take the camera here, we're going to go into the garage. So, if you didn't know, um, I had moved, you know, just before the last video, and actually, uh, when I was, before I went to the hospital, I was actually on my way after dropping off the U-Haul for the last bit of the stuff out of storage I had moved. So, as you can see in here, that's the wife's stuff. She's got to clean, we got to clean it up yet, but the rest of us are putting stuff away, putting all that stuff away, putting stuff up there, you know, organizing things so that it's all easy to get to and everything. And, um, most of the boxes, well, everything has been put away, all the stuff I have, for the most part, there's some things that are sitting around that I have to take care of, but for the most part, this garage is fairly clean. And I've even got the work lights up there. I still need to do the rest of the lights, but I do have that light up there done. Make the garage have a lot more light into it. Um, I had the fridge on either side before, but um, Unfortunately, that line over there is connected to everything in the whole garage and the outside light. So if something goes down, it goes down with the fridge. There is a dedicated fridge line over here. So unfortunately, I had to move it over here. Then I had to move this out and move stuff over there. So move stuff around. But now I got all the tires and stuff back here. Got that stuff up there. Hung that frame up there. I need to put this fan somewhere. And pretty soon, I will be able to put in a... Uh, wash, you know, sink there, you know, garage sink, so I can wash things. You can see there's actually a laundry hookup. There's actually a hole in the wall there, it goes outside. I was thinking I could <laughs> hook up a, um, you know, piping, bring it into the garage, and I hook it up to the exhaust and I start the bikes in the garage and vent it out the side there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll actually do that though, but it's an interesting idea since the hole's there. I'm not sure what size of hole it needs to be though. It might be too small, I don't know. So, here's the box. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanna say before I get started here was that, uh, I don't know if you noticed this, but um, the old house had a bunch of stairs at the bottom, bottom the, to go to the garage, plus it was down a long hallway, so you're fairly disconnected from the house. So, if you're gonna go in the garage, you're pretty much in a different location. And some people may like that, but <clears throat> for me, then if I have to, you know, go back in the house and get something, it's like a road trip, you know. Or if someone comes and asks me to get something or go in the house or something, then it's like it's a road trip. We're now just right in and out. You know, it's like so easy. So, and there's no bathroom in the garage. So, yeah, and I didn't have a sink in the garage either. So if I had to wash my parts, I'd take them all the way inside of the house. Whereas now if I've got a sink right here, it's 
a lot easier. So, um, a speaker over there. Maybe I'll make a video about see if I can fix that thing. But uh, along the edge here. So yeah, this is a 1993 frame. So I'm gonna take out the mic so my voice can be farther away. I should get that big other microphone out and put it on this thing, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna have to move around a bit so I'm gonna have to speak a little bit louder. All right, so should hopefully I should have enough light on this thing. And yeah, I can lift. There's no lifting restrictions I have anymore. One fork. So, looks like. One fork. stuff but it's in decent condition okay so this came from Moto World and it was shipped to make your cycle a long time ago it was never um, he never used it he just got it from those guys I guess There's the MDS book. So, I do have the MBS book now. Ooh, which is good. Shock out of here. markings on it there's some banging on it there so it looks like it probably was used but not that much use on it looks like and the other one let's see I mean, it's got some wear on it but it looks like overall it's in pretty good condition there's not really any bangs on it <clears throat> and let's take a look at the uh, frame. So overall, there are wear marks on the side here. 
stand over here and underneath you can see it definitely was ridden but the frame rolls are overall good condition not smashed there's one dent right here small one but overall they're still fairly they just have some scrapes so it's actually not bad But you can definitely tell there's, there's, there's some scratches on it, but it's some of the wear, but it's not that bad. It was mostly when this was parted out. It was parted out years ago. So it is an old bike. These are hard to find, especially this year. So, and they're in fairly good condition for 30 years old. Right? <laughs> and I think I'm going to put it there for now. The other frame I have is an 83, so it'd be funny. I have an 83 on that side, and a 93 on this side. All right, so yeah, I forgot to record it, but I put that up that way. I was able to put it up there, so I'll be able to put more parts below it. Same with over here, and you have the 93 right next to it, pointing that way. And the 83 over there pointing the other way. Oh yeah, there's a piston up here. I need to put into the collection up here. Huh? Put it over there in the end. Oh. Yep. A little pistons up here. So, 